Hello, AppSec friends. It's Louis here from Pentester Lab. I hope you're all ready to level up your application security knowledge because today we are diving into the realm of JSON Web Tokens or JWT. But don't worry, we are keeping things simple and friendly so everyone can benefit. Let's get started. Our goal today is not to waste your time, but to arm you with practical tips that can save you a lot of trouble in your application security journey. So if you remember one thing from this video, let it be this. Your JWT validation code probably looks something like this. If JWT verify secret and token, you return true, otherwise you return false. Now, hang on, don't close the video just yet. Here's where the magic happens. We want you to change your code to something that looks like this. If JWT verify secret token, we return true like we did before, else if we check with a previous secret and the same token and we return true, otherwise we return false. See that? We just added support for key or secret rotation. One day, this will save you a lot of trouble. Now, if you need to change the secret, you can do it without having to synchronize the change across all applications using it. This simple modification was our first recommendation. Now, let's move to the next tips. Recommendation number two, always check the strength of your secret. Sometimes something may go wrong during deployment or someone may use a weak secret and the code still gets promoted to production. Avoid this by adding a check like this. If secret is less than 32 characters, puts secret too small and exit. This way, if the secret is not set or if it's too small, your application will not start. Recommendation number three, generate a log entry when the verification fails. This simple step allows you to detect issues and potential attacks. Here is how. If JWT.verify secret and token return true like we did before, but this time before returning false, we just log an error with invalid token and the token. Very simple, very efficient. Recommendation number four, force the algorithm used. It's an easy tweak and you will be able to kill two attacks, non-algorithm and algorithm confusion attacks in just a few characters. Your code will now look something like this. If JWT.verify, secret token, and the algorithm you want to force, you return true. Otherwise, you return false. If the library you are using does not support this, just add this check. Recommendation number five, keep an eye on your signature verification. Regularly run a monitoring script and test to check if the signature is verified. Make sure your application rejects any invalid token. And finally, recommendation number six, always have an expiration on your token. This can be done using either the expiry or the issued at claims. You should never sign something without having some kind of expiry attached to it. And that wraps up our session today. Keep these six recommendations in mind and you will be a step ahead in ensuring your application security. Remember, it's the simple step Tests, but often makes the biggest difference. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified for future videos. And as always, stay curious and keep learning. Until next time.